By 2004, Mark Anderson is storing more than a million dollars worth of fine wine for scores of clients. But in retrospect, there are a few off notes in Mark Anderson's bouquet. There's the question of where Anderson gets his money. His business isn't very lucrative, and he lives in this humble apartment building. Yet he spends lavishly on travel, food, and wine. There's a restaurant in town called Sushi Ron, which is a great sushi restaurant. And Mark had um, a plaque on the wall because he'd eaten there about 400 times one year, which was astounding. <laughs> Mainly because the place is so expensive. It's, it's like, it's not a cheap place. I never ran into anybody who said Mark had a tough time covering a tab. When he went off to Italy, for example, and went to the White Truffle Festival for a month, and then came back and talked about all the amazing truffles he ate by the pound, everybody just thought, oh, Mark must, you know, be digging into his family's money. But it's not family money Anderson is digging into, as Lucier will later learn. 